How do you divide a circle into 12 equal parts? Hello everyone and welcome to PE Academy and in this video I'm going to be taking you step by step how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts. So for this, uh, to divide a circle into 12 equal parts, I'm going to be showing you two approach, uh, two methods that you can get this done. So before we get into this video proper, please if you are new to PE Academy or you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So kindly click on that subscribe button at the lower right of your screen, somewhere on your screen. So just click on that subscribe button and the little bell icon on your screen. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. And if you are yet to, please uh, take out time to click on it. It's absolutely free to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so now let's get into this video. And thank you very much if you have just subscribed. And let me know in the comment section uh, if you've subscribed. Alright, so like I said, we are going to be, I'm going to be uh, using two methods. So let, first, let me go ahead and draw uh, this one, one of the circles we are going to be using. So uh, irrespective of the size of your circle, that is the radius of your circle, I you know the step is still the same thing, it's still the same thing. So, so once you draw your circle, one thing I want, I always say you should notice to note the center. So this is the center. So if you are drawing your, your circle with your compass, you should be able to get your center. And if you are using a, just a round, a round object to draw your circle or to trace out your circle, and you don't know the center, where well, you can check the playlist on technical engineering drawing. I've done a video that is, will explain or teach you or show you how to find the center of a circle. Alright, so now that we have a circle, so let me indicate this as method one. Method one. So now look at this. If we have a circle, the total angle in a circle is 360 degrees. So if we have 360 degrees, and we have to divide it into 12, so that will be 360 degrees divided by 12. So that will give us... 30 degrees so that means each side or each part of this of this uh, of the circle will be at 30 degrees apart so just note this 30 degrees so now let's divide this into two so that means we are going to be drawing our diameter so now we have this circle divided into two equal parts so now we bring in our protractor so you place your protractor at the center. So let's call this center O, point O. So make sure your protractor is properly placed at the center of the circle. It's very important so to make sure you have an accurate result. So now you start to mark it at 30 degrees interval. Don't forget, 360 divided by 12 gives us 30 degrees. So at 30 degrees interval, so that means you are going to be marking it at 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 150 degrees 180 degrees so so let's do that so at 30 degrees will be somewhere this is 30 degrees in clockwise direction if you look at it here this is 0 10 20 30 so the next one is 60 this is 60 followed by 90 then 120 150 and then 180 so this is already 180 so now that we've gotten those points what you are going to do is so these are the points this is one this is one, that of 30 this is that of 60 90 120 150 so what you are going to do is you are going to join those points to the center so you are going to make sure that they are on a straight line from that point to the center so if you have been able to get that so you are going to draw a line from the circumference of the circle to pass through that point and also pass through the center to come and touch opposite side of the circle on the circumference of the circle so you are going to be having something like this you repeat the same thing for the, the other points that you've marked so so if you are using a, uh, a bigger a bigger protractor you know the line you mark might be outside your circle but just make sure that the lines you are drawing from the circumference to the opposite side passing through the center just like a diameter i hope that makes sense so you put the process like this so for the last one So with this now we've been able to divide it into 12 equal parts. Let's count. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. So you can see we've been able to divide this into 12 equal parts. And what did we use? We used our protractor and then basically our protractor and our ruler. Then we only use our compass for the circle. So that is the first method. So if you find value in this, please give it a thumbs up. Just click on that thumbs up button. So now let's go to the method 2. So for the method 2 works when you know the radius of the circle. So let's work with the radius now. So let's say we are working with a circle with a radius of 5 cm. Alright, so now we already have a circle. So what you are going to do is to, uh, let's note the center, this is the center of the circle. So what you are going to do is, let me indicate method 2. Method 2. So let me draw this diameter. So what you are going to do to this circle is to first of all divide it into 4. 4 equal parts. So let me draw the diameter. So let me call this uh, point, point A, let me call this point B. So I said we are going to divide it into four. So you can you bring in your protractor and then you measure 90 degrees. So you place it on the diameter that is on line AB. Alright, so we've gotten the 90 degrees, then we'll draw it down. So from 90 degrees to pass through the center, we've been able to, so let me call this point C and then point D. So now from this point A, from point A, B, C and then point D. So we bring in our compass, which is the same length we used to draw the circle, which is uh, 5 cm. 5 cm is same with 50 mm, so depending on the unit you are familiar with. So now with the same uh, uh, length we used to draw the circle, that is the, same, the radius of the circle, put it on, let's start from point A, you draw an arc on the circle, just a very small one, with, on the other side also, like this, so let's go to point B, we repeat the same thing, you draw an arc on the circle, and then on the other side, so let's do it on point C, so we are going to do it on those four points that we've marked. And then finally on point D. Alright, so let me call those points. Um, let me call this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. So what you are going to do is you are going to join this where, where the arc is touching the circumference. That is point 1. You are going to join point 1 to point 5. And in joining them, you will notice that if your construction is right and everything is right, to pass through the center of the circle without any issue, to pass through the center of the circle. So that means you are going to be joining point 2 to point 6, and it will definitely pass through the center of the circle if your construction is correct, if your angles are right, your measurement is correct, to pass through the center of the circle. So 2 to point 6. Then that means the next one is point 0.4 to point 0.8. So from point 0.4 to point 0.8. And then the last one for point 0.3 to point 0.4. I mean from point 0.3 to point 0.7. So now with this, now we've been able to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that is it. On This is the first method. This is the second method. So before you go, if you find value in these two examples I've just given, let me uh, please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know between the method 1 and method 2, which one do you think is more easy uh, to do? Or which approach do you think you are going to use whenever you want to divide a circle into 12 equal parts? So let me know in the comment section below, method 1 or method 2. So that is it. So that is it for this video. Um, also, if you want to know how to divide a circle into other number of parts, maybe 5, 6, 8, 9, um, 10, and, uh, and the likes, you can check, kindly check the description of this video. I'll leave a link 
to all those videos showing you how to divide a circle into other equal number of parts apart from 12. Again, please, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, consider clicking on the subscribe button. Also, check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos there that I believe will be of help to you. Then you can also check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much for watching.